Cosmic voids are the universe's vast dark expanses, regions between galaxies that seem completely barren. But new research shows that even the emptiest parts of space are not truly empty. Invisible particles, relic radiation, and traces of dark matter quietly fill these cosmic gaps. Every part of the universe, no matter how desolate, still carries the faint signature of energy and motion. In this video, we'll explore what actually exists inside these cosmic voids, how scientists study them, and why understanding nothingness may be key to understanding the universe itself. Let's get started. When astronomers first mapped the large-scale structure of the cosmos, they found that galaxies aren't scattered randomly. They form vast filaments and clusters, like a cosmic web, separated by immense, dark regions. These dark spaces, called cosmic voids, make up most of the universe's volume. At first, they seemed like true vacuums, huge bubbles of nothing stretching across hundreds of millions of light years. But the more we studied them, the clearer it became that voids aren't empty at all. They're simply less crowded. Within these regions, there are still faint traces of matter, radiation, and energy constantly flowing through. The most active travelers across these dark deserts are cosmic rays and neutrinos, particles born from violent events like exploding stars, colliding neutron stars, and supermassive black hole jets. Cosmic rays are fast-moving protons and nuclei that can cross galaxies and even intergalactic space. Neutrinos are even more elusive, almost massless particles that pass through everything, including entire planets, as if nothing were there. Together, these two kinds of particles form an invisible traffic system that connects galaxies through the voids. If you could float in one with a sensitive detector, you'd pick up faint signals every few moments. The occasional flash of a cosmic ray or the constant background hum of neutrinos passing by in unimaginable numbers. There's also dark matter, the unseen gravitational scaffolding that shapes the universe. Even inside voids, dark matter's faint influence defines their edges and determines how galaxies gather along their borders. And surrounding all of this is the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the leftover glow from the Big Bang. This faint radiation fills every inch of space, including the most remote corners of the voids. At just under 3 Kelvin above absolute zero, it's unimaginably cold, but it ensures that nowhere in the universe is ever completely dark or lifeless. So, while cosmic voids may appear silent, they're quietly alive with motion. A place where the universe's oldest light and fastest particles drift endlessly through the dark. Cosmic voids might look like nothing, but they are vital to understanding how the universe works. They act as enormous natural laboratories where scientists can study cosmic expansion, dark matter, and the nature of gravity with minimal interference from stars or galaxies. Because these regions contain so little matter, they amplify the effects of dark energy, the mysterious force driving the universe's accelerated expansion. In denser regions, gravity dominates. In the near emptiness of voids, dark energy's push becomes more apparent. Tracking how fast voids expand over time helps scientists test whether dark energy behaves as a constant force or changes as the universe ages. Voids also help refine our understanding of dark matter. Although invisible, dark matter's gravitational influence can be detected by studying how light from distant galaxies bends or stretches as it passes through or around voids. By measuring these subtle distortions, Astronomers can map dark matter's presence even in regions that appear completely black. One of the most intriguing connections is between voids and the cosmic microwave background. As CMB photons travel through these underdense regions, they lose a small amount of energy, a phenomenon known as the integrated Sachs-Wolf effect. Measuring this effect helps scientists test Einstein's theory of general relativity across billions of light years and confirm whether gravity behaves as expected on cosmic scales. Voids also give clues about neutrinos, the universe's most elusive particles. 
their minuscule masses influence how cosmic structures grow and how matter clusters over time. By observing the size, shape, and evolution of voids, researchers can infer properties of these particles that even the most advanced particle accelerators on Earth struggle to measure. Finally, voids are becoming key to testing modified gravity theories, ideas that go beyond Einstein's equations to explain cosmic acceleration. Some models predict that gravity weakens differently in low-density regions. Studying the motion of galaxies around void edges could help reveal if general relativity truly holds or if new physics is at play. In essence, voids reveal the universe's hidden architecture. They're not empty spaces between galaxies. They're the framework that shows how matter, energy, and time themselves are structured across the largest possible scales. Exploring voids doesn't just fill a curiosity about empty space, it may reshape how we understand the cosmos itself. First, they're transforming how we study dark energy. As astronomers map the universe in ever greater detail, they can watch how voids expand and evolve over time. Comparing their growth rates to theoretical predictions allows scientists to test whether dark energy strength has remained constant or shifted since the early universe. Second, voids offer a clean environment to test gravity. In dense galaxy clusters, gravitational effects overlap and become complicated to interpret. But in a void, the balance between cosmic expansion and gravity is simple and measurable. If gravity deviates from Einstein's predictions, the signs would appear most clearly there, in how light bends and how galaxies drift around these vast, underdense regions. Third, studying voids deepens our knowledge of the cosmic web, the giant interconnected structure that defines the universe. Upcoming surveys such as DESI, Euclid, and the Vera Rubin Observatory's LSST are mapping millions of galaxies, allowing astronomers to build the most detailed three-dimensional maps of voids ever created. These maps will help trace how matter, both visible and dark, flows through space and how gravity sculpts that flow over billions of years. There's also a broader, almost philosophical insight that comes from all this. The universe has no true emptiness. Even in the vastness between galaxies, where visible matter is sparse, radiation, particles, and gravity persist. The faint warmth of the CMB still glows there, neutrinos and cosmic rays still move through, and dark matter still stretches its invisible threads. If you could somehow float in the middle of a void, the nearest galaxy would be a dim pinprick millions of light years away. You'd feel nothing, no warmth, no light, no sound. Yet you'd still be surrounded by the ancient background glow of the Big Bang constantly washed by the weakest trace of radiation and the most ghostly forms of matter. That realization, that even nothing contains something, changes how we think about the universe. Voids aren't empty gaps between things. They are part of the cosmic fabric, essential to the balance between matter, energy, and the vast expansion that defines everything. Even the universe's emptiest spaces aren't truly empty. Cosmic voids still hum with particles, radiation, and invisible matter. In their silence, we find proof that even nothing is something. 